Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with this play of Dark Quest 11 S Echoes of, Elus Echoes of an Elusive Page on the PC. Last time, we finally went around and got the last bits of monsters that we needed to find, and we also got, in doing so, uh, we got the um, upgrade for Serena that she now has an extra 100 magical mending, which is quite a decent amount, so we are okay for the moment. Uh, now we can actually start going to the towns and doing all their various, um, like, quests and stuff like that. And we'll just be able to start blitzing through that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and actually buy, uh, Hymn of Thunder, because those little electric needlers did be dirty. I can tell you that much. So we're going to buy that. I should have bought it already, but, well, I was being lazy. Um, I think... I think uh, Serena is still using a shield, right? Yeah. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give her dual wielding just for yeah, like the extra chances for buffs and whatnot. So I think we will. I mean, a lot of people are going to prefer to have her on shields, but I do like having the extra stat potential buffs from. Oh, I forgot we we're going to go for Crispusha as well. Uh. We'll get Chris Bushel eventually. I'm not terribly concerned with not getting it right now. Savando, you're good. Rab. Uh, let's see, we still need 12 or 15 for that. Alright, but he's good. Let's go ahead and. Excuse me. Zoom on over to Cobblestone. And I think I fixed the issue with my controller, so I should have the. Uh, cursor dashing around the menu and misselecting stuff. And it'll also be nice for making, you know, Fell Seal better for not frickin' around over there. It's Soul, you're back. Shame the village isn't looking at best, so there's no use complaining. We're gonna roll up our sleeves and rebuild the place so we can have a home to be proud of. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear, fellas. I think we primarily have to talk to uh, Gemma, and then from there, we can start doing other stuff here. I'm just glad the church survived. It's the heart of the village. Without it, we'd be lost. Fantastic. I don't think I need new sparkly. Yeah, no nothing new sparkly-wise showed up. Let's see. Gemma should be up here, I do believe. Hey, it's uh, Cole, the, the bullheaded kid. Look, Sol, my house is all smashed up. The horrible soldiers did it. And it's not just my house. We're all in the same boat. But everyone's helping each other out, including Gemma. Her granddad told her to go over to your house and give your mom a hand. Yeah, so since we... went back in time and all that stuff, uh, the soldiers from Helidor didn't realize the errors of the way, or their way, or they did, but they didn't come back. You didn't make this like the last bastion against uh, Morkant, or whatever it was. And there's a flurry feather on the ground now since he can't get up to the roof anymore. So, neat. Uh, we still have our bed over there. Hello there, my little soldier. I can't tell you how lovely it is to have you back in Cobblestone. Of course, this is a bit of a mess at the moment, but it's still home. And there will be, always be a bed here for you, if nothing else. Sleep tight. Oh, I don't want to rest. I, I thought we just went to our bed to rest, I guess, but oh well. Morning, love. Now I'm sure you don't want to be hanging around here with the old mother, so you go and do what you have to do. And don't worry about us. We'll be just fine. Yeah, I thought you just kind of like... Okay, so I guess if you talk to your mom, you rest. And if you talk to the bed, you rest. That works. How you doing, pup? Woof, woof. Good girl. Welcome home, soul. Have you come back to see how we're getting along? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. When we first got back here and saw the state of the place, things felt pretty helpless. But giving up isn't the cobblestone way, is it? We all pulled together and started to rebuild the place brick by brick. Well, I say we all pulled together, but there aren't all that many of us. We could really do with a little help. Wait, I've just had a great idea. Listen, Sol, you must have met lots of people traveling all around the world, right? Well, I know you're busy, and I hate to ask. But if you meet folks who are at a loose end and might be able to help us rebuild the village, do you think you could send them our way? Sure. Great, thank you so much. Now, I've been thinking, of, I've been making a little list of the kinds of people we need. First off, we'll be wanting merchants who can get us supplies when, get us the supplies we need to rebuild the village. I'm talking about the kinds of people who can get hold of anything, you know, like Turkip and Helidor. 
and we're going to need some rough and tough types who can guard the place. I was thinking of maybe some big muscly folks like those fighters you hear over about in Octagonia. That'd be just a ticket, I reckon. But it takes more than brawn to build a village. We'll need brains as well. Apparently there's this famous fellow who knows everything in a place called Hoto. It'd be great to have him on board. And last but not least, if we're making a fresh start, we need a cute mascot. Well, you've got to keep everyone's spirits up. I've heard about a very lovable sacred beast from the frozen north. That could be a goer. Well, that's enough for you to begin on with. If you see any folks like that, let them know they'd be very welcome in Cobblestone. And thanks, Soul. We all really appreciate your help. Yeah, so we got to go around to various uh, other towns and stuff and get them to come back for helping with the rebuilding of the town and whatnot. I think if we go to the item shop, it's, yeah, it's like dead. And then, like she said, she wants us to recruit Dirk. And at that point, can I zoom to Cobblestone Tour? No, I can't. Because um, we got to go to Cobblestone Tour, by the way. And yeah, once we get Dirk back there, he'll start selling some uh, really good stuff, actually. But if I remember correctly, we do have to go up to Cobblestone Tour for some... There's like somebody up there getting attacked. I thought it... Um, I'm thinking it might actually be Dirk, but no. It might just be somebody else. We basically got to make our way all the way back up to the top of the the tour there. And there should be a couple new monsters, but I don't think there's much. At the very least, electric needles, so we can get the uh, Thunderballs from them for their rare steel if we need it. Which I do. I need, like, 15. I'll probably do that, at, I'll probably do that in a couple episodes. Not right now. But, after the couple episodes that I record tonight, because I'll record like two or three tonight. So, two or three episodes from now, I'll do that off screen and come back with all those. Just so it's out of the way. I wonder if the water in here is still lowered. It probably is, so you can probably go and get the... <clears throat> probably go get the stuff from the... Lowered area. Malicious needle error. There you go. I don't remember what you have, but I'm going to assume that it's not much. There you go. The lightning storm. And you still survive. Right. Yeah, I'm not... See, see now, my, now my mouse isn't going all over the place, so I figured out what the problem was. And we are good. And I'm happy. Oh, there we go. What do you guys have for a uh, special medicine, lamb's wool? Yeah, basically nothing. Basically nothing. And there shouldn't be any new sparkly spots either. Yeah, so we're good. I think the electric needles, yeah, they show up like over here. But we'll worry about you guys later. And by later, I mean off screen. Um, I'm curious, is oh, this, this guy's actually aggressive enough to try to attack me? Good stuff. Okay, so that still is all drained if you didn't get the treasure there from Act 2. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't 100% sure. Actually, yeah, probably would be just because of the destroyed um, village. But you couldn't, come, you couldn't come back from Act 1 to get it. I think you just had to wait till Act 2. Oh, it is Dirk. That's what I thought. Help me! Someone! Hey, help me! Someone! Anyone? Anyone? Dirk! Dirk? I've known that voice anywhere. Eric? Is that you? I had my volume down super low, so I wasn't sure if they were actually reading it out or not. Come on. Dirk needs our help. And here we go, Malicious Hades Condor. What do we do now? This guy is well as much as much of a pain in the ass as the other Hades Condors that we fought, so uh pretty decent pain in the ass. Uh let's go ahead and start with I don't think crushed ice will do that much extra. I think uh multi feet or multi thrust will do good enough. Oh yeah. 
nice and crispy. If we can get Serena to get her turn, that could work out pretty good for us. Uh, let's go, um, for the dancer. Either he has more evasion than I realized, or... How's about this I think he just has more evasion than I realized. Because otherwise I don't think we should be really missing that much. Um, let's go on the heal right now. I don't want, like, Jade to die if he decides to get gung-ho on attacking her. Let's see... Actually, I think multi-ice was doing, or ice storm or whatever was doing a pretty fair amount. Right, we're good right there. Uh, Serena should be able to get her him a fire up for some damage reduction. That's what we need right there. Alright, and a sword dance again. Kind of miss. There you go. That's a little better. Uh, now, if we can get you. Fizzled and then dazzled. That could be pretty nice too. Perfect. That kind of hurt. But oh well. Uh, let's try crush dice again. Stay with Okay, it's doing more damage when it hits. But then again, we're just missing a fair amount of our attacks, no matter what here. Sliceberg. I don't think I've seen that. Sliceberg. Sure, why not? Let's check it out. Oh, it's a spear ability. That did a pretty fair amount of damage. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead with another Swords Dance for you. 1060, very nice. I'm kind of curious how much Unbridled Blade will do. You know what? You're just going to Army Hill. It's expensive, but Thank you. it's worth it. Yeah, if Unbridled Blade doesn't like miss or something like that, then we should be able to get a pretty fair chunk of damage off of it. Yeah, you can't cast spells and like that. Alright, uh, let's see Unbridled Blade. Yeah, I think Unbridled Blade might end up doing, um... Might end up doing more damage Sorry. as long as it doesn't miss. Get that buff up there. If we had like Hendrick or something in the fight instead of like Jade or Veronica, we could probably have the uh, the buffs up a little faster. But hey, we'll, we'll survive. We will survive. All right, uh, let's go ahead with that Umbrella Blade again. 1060. So, no, it's... Uh, then again, with the multi... Or... Multi-slash, or whatever it was, uh... That basically... Got a crit. So that's why that was doing what it did earlier. Uh, we could blunt. Uh, I, want, I want to fizzle him, because the... Sizzle that he has, or... Whatever, what it is, does a pretty fair chunk of damage when it hits. Okay, good. No miss. And there we go. Yeah, if you're lower level, like 60 or something, that guy will be much more of a problem we than what again. we dealt with right there. And there we go. Not too shabby. Dirk is saved. Okay, now he doesn't seem to be talking. Corey, you got me out of another horrible mess there, Eric old pal. I owe you. I was heading off to meet a supplier. When that great squawking nonsense when it carried me off. I thought I was done for. You and your mate saved me bacon. How can I ever repay you? Wait, I know. You can have this. Ooh, get a spectral light. Nice. Right, I need a little sit down after my near death experience, sir. I'll hang around here and have a little breather, I reckon. What's that? You got a favor to ask me. You want me to help get back you want me to help get cobblestone back on his feet? Go on then, sign me up. How could I say no say no to be savior, eh? Besides, it might be a nice little earner. Derek, or Dirk trots off towards Cobblestone, rubbing his hands together like the greedy little bastard that he is. Awesome. And I think if we go further up, uh, there is a... There should be a quest. Uh, 
nearby. Yeah. Or, if not a quest, then the, the finishings of a quest. Well, it does look like you're just a little bit. Good to, know, good to know, Veronica. I'm trying to remember if this is actually going to be where the quest is, or if they moved it into the, defi the definitive version. So I think for the Mr. Vistor quest, they may they may or may not have moved it uh, to a different location. I'm not sure. But if it's not, we'll get up there, and we'll be back down pretty quickly, so it's not a huge deal. And after this, I think we'll go get uh, Dormon back because that's who they want for their little mascot and then we can go and probably get the Sword of Light made since Oto should be a pretty quick little section let's see is it here I think it might be here in the uh yeah, I think it might be here in the original version of the game. Let me check real fast. Okay, I think it was here in the original version of the game, but then they moved it to... Um, Insula Centralis. So that one in the... The one next to... Uh, whatever the frick that place was called. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, the one to the the one the island to the left of there, uh, the warriors rest in. So I think we have to actually get on the boat, and if I remember correctly, I think it's like a. Uh, I think it was a little section that we have to go underwater with the harp with. Yeah, so let's go do that. Let's go do that. Yeah. So, okay, I'll just go ahead and meet you guys over there, uh, over at uh, Insula Centralis, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back, and we need to ride Mr. Labradrake here. So I already got him all ready to go, and I don't know exactly where it's at, but they said the highest point on the, the island here, so probably up there. Unless there's another higher point that I'm not aware of. Yeah, I think, in, I think in the original version of the game, it was just right there on the top of the Copstone Tour. But then they moved it over here in the definitive version, I think. For some reason. Alright, now, how do I get you to activate? Should be like right around here, uh, unless they switch something. Hmm. I don't remember exactly what the uh, wording of the quest is here. Uh, let's see. Most well, stunning place, most well, stunning view in the world. In the description of this part, we left there is a rocky mountain south of Heliodor. Yeah, but I think they changed it from instead of Heliodor to over here. Unless the unless the uh, source that I'm looking at is wrong, which yeah, could be possible. And if it is, well, we'll go find it. Over where it's supposed to be at, then. Uh, I don't think we can drop down right here, can we? If we can, this might be... No. But let's see, if we can drop down right there, that could be... Potentially what we're looking for. Hmm. Where do they hide this damn thing, then? Yeah, because there's no, there's no inscription up here to read. If it was, it'd be like right here, I think. 
So, where do they put this damn thing? You get a pretty good item out of it, too. It's a, it's a wand for Serena that gives you a yeah, buff chance at the start of the battle or something like that, I think. Alright, give me another second to figure out what the frick I'm doing wrong here. Alright, turns out I actually was on top of a cobblestone tour. I think what I think what I was getting confused about was in the original version of the game, the quest started here at Cobblestone Tour, and then he went over to um, that island that we were just at. Whereas in this version, the quest starts at the top of Angry Lock, and then this is where the uh, the vista is. There's an inscription carved under the trunk of the old dead tree. It's rather hard to read, but if you squint, you can just about make it out. This is truly one of the most magnificent spectacular. <clears throat> Spectacular and indeed utterly gobsmacking views I've seen in my long career as a connoisseur of splendid scenery. But what use is a beautiful view when one is all alone? I realize that if a man has his love beside him, even the most paltry view will be filled with beauty. Filled with beauty. In conclusion, I must find a wife. Signed, Vincenzo Turismo. You found the inscription left by the legendary scenery seeker. Head over to Angry Law and tell that guy. Cool. Uh, real fast, I'm gonna try something here. Um, I saw that Dirk was down there by the shop that he's going to have it, and I don't think I talked to him in the original version of the game to figure out what he was doing there. He's probably just talking about how, you know, he's going to get things all buffed up. So, let's just see what he's doing. Probably won't say a whole lot, but there he is, all ready and waiting. This place is really inspiring, I tell you. Everyone pulling together and doing their bit. A real sense of community, you know? I'm only too happy to do what I can for Cobblestone. Glad to hear it, Dirk. Glad to hear it. Uh, now let's go to... Uh, let's see, Mount Ping Lai Summit. And get ourselves a new wand for Serena. And after this, we can go ahead and dash over to the... Uh, the Hexwood and grab that beast right there. So that'll be nice and easy like... Where'd you go? There he is. Well, if it isn't the newest member of the Secretive Association of Scenery Seekers. Did you find Vincenzo Turismo's message? Yep. Well, knock me down to the feather. Not in a million years would I imagine that his profound insight as he looked down upon the world was that he needed a wife. <clears throat> but thinking about it, solitude is something of an occupational hazard for we scenery seekers. I myself have been so busy scaling these heady heights that I've neglected to think about finding a life partner. But I don't regret it for a second. N not a single solitary second, no. I live my life in pursuit of a higher cause. Where who needs a life when a resplendent vista is unfolding beneath one's feet? I have chosen this life and I stand by my choice. Besides, I am not alone. Beauty is my bride. Beauty is my bride. The wide blue yonder is my beloved. And the whispering bee breeze is my most faithful friend. Now my choice was the right one. And now I have introduced a bright young talent to the marvels of scenery seeking to. Speaking of which, let me give you a small reward for all your efforts. And we get a fantastic... Nice. My knees may not be what they were, but I shall continue to pursue beautiful views and extend into my heart for as long as there is a breath in my body. Nice. And he tried to insist beauty was his bride and the wide blue yonder his wife, slightly unconvincingly. I find my mind returning unbidden to thoughts of matrimony. There was that one rather appealing woman in the tavern in Heliodor whom I could not help but feel took a shine to me. Oh, did I say that aloud? The thought of marriage could not be further from my mind. What use would I have for a wife when I have the world's most beautiful views to enjoy? Anything I may have said about a certain lady in a certain tavern was just my senseless rambling. Please, pay me no mind. Yeah, he needs to go get some. He needs to go get some. But yeah, uh, for Serena, we got ourselves a new wand for her that we can buff up. Uh, let's see, the Fantastic. 50% or... 50% chance of snack, crackle, poof at the start of the battle, but a guaranteed 100% if you pop, uh, buff it up, so not too shabby. And then a pretty good set of magical mending up there, too, so not too shabby at all. Uh, let's see, compared to our current spear, a little, a little stronger, not much, but yeah, that'd be a nice little boost to our magical mending there. So if you know you got like a boss... <laughs> a boss fight or something coming up, or an enemy that's going to cast lots of uh, stupid spells, you can go do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and head to the uh, Hex Wood and get that little... Uh, get that taken care of. Uh, so I'll meet you guys over there since we're to beat the boss. So I'll be right back. 
All right, dash down over. And Jormund, you want to join us over in uh, Cobblestone? Oh. Jormund seems very happy indeed with this holy makeover. Or? So we said a sync depression that Jormund wants to help you with something. Accept his offer? Yep. Oh. Send him to help guard Cobblestone from monsters? Yes, indeedy. Or, or, or. And there we go. That's nice and easy. Jormund lollops off Cobblestone with a big smile on his face. How is he going to walk all the way over there? I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, good for him. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's go, let's go ahead and head to Hoto. See if, uh, see if Know-It-All Noah is there. Get him in on the... Cobblestone Restorian, or Cobblestonian Rest Restoration Committee. Uh, now for the Octagonia part, that's a full little fledged uh, section that we're going to have to do. Complete with a boss and everything, so probably going to want to wait on that. Alright, there is a quest in here, which we're going to need, so we're going to do that momentarily. Actually, there's a couple things we're going to need in here. Uh, let's see if you are actually hanging out in here, Mr. Dirk. He appears to have flown the coop. Hmm? No? Oh yes, he left a short while ago. His bill unsettled. To Gondoli, he said. Several days ago. What are the Dark Star? Ah, that's right. We gotta go to Gondoli and do that stuff. Yeah, Gondolia also has a little section we gotta go through. I forgot about that. That's fine. At the very least, we'll continue making the Sword of Light and then use that to make the other Sword of Light as well. Monsters don't roam the land. You, Miko does not guide us. Her silence likes to know. They say she is gone, hiding up on the mountain. Elusive is missed. Well, good for her. Uh, we can actually go do the Miko stuff, uh, and we have to in order to do the making the uh, sort of light. I've traveled far, seeking my life's true meaning, my quest, my calling. Finally, I know. The blade I was born to forge. Fabled sword of kings. Weapon of legend, fit for the hands of royals. Blade beyond compare. But I need one thing, a metal orc alchem, rarer than hen's teeth. No price is too high, but it leaves me destitute, I will gladly pay. I think he just wants to buy um, one piece of orc alchem off of you. So yeah, we have the one piece there, so he'll be able to buy that off of us. But can this be true? Could it be that you have it, the treasure I seek? Please sell it to me, I beg you, how does 22,500 gold coins sound? Yep. And there we go. This is a real thing. With this, I can forge the blade. Bless his tour to kings. First, I shall make it. Then I shall sell it right here. My great masterpiece. I don't think he. I don't think he took the. Uh... Yeah, he didn't take the rarefied orc alchem. That's still going to be used for something later. Uh, now we have to go and rest up, and then we have to rest like a campsite or an inn or something, and then that will let us buy the sword of kings for him. It's going to be like thirty-five thousand gold or something like that, so slightly more expensive than what we sold the orc alchem for, but we have plenty of money, so I'm not terribly concerned. I bring offerings, but the priestess is not here, piety wasted, the monsters approach. Try to remember if, try to remember if we get the, uh, the key in the diary again. You may not enter. Here a mother mourns her son, a sad, sacred space. Okay. I think we just actually—I think we just actually have to go head over to the uh, to the um, the top. And also, there should be a quest in here somewhere. Uh, I think he is at the—I think he's at like the bar or something like that. Yeah, I think he's like. Uh, so one of these two shops, isn't he? Mr. Quest Catalog. Treasure Hunter hanging around in the lodgings. Okay, so, yeah, he's in the inn. Fantastic. Let's go talk to him, and then we can rest up. Hotel truly is a fascinating place. Being surrounded by high mountains as it is, as it, is it was largely left alone for centuries, and has cons consequently developed its own unique culture. 
That's not the only thing that's fascinating about the place. Have you ever heard the tale of the treasure buried here by a shrine maiden many, many years ago? They say it may even include the legendary bloodstone. Since the time of my great grandfather, the men of my family have set out in search of that most priceless of gems. I am Iago, the latest in that noble line of treasure hunters. And now, after all these years, I believe I can finally finish what my great grandfather began. The tale I heard does convince me that the jewel is here in Hoto, but I cannot take the final steps of my journey alone. I shall need someone to assist me with the final chapter of my epic quest. Will you join me? Will you help me find the hidden treasure of Hoto? Sure. Good, yeah, we get some uh, Uber Agates of Evolutions. Nice. That saves you from having to buy them or steal them or. Hey, hey, I thought you might say that. You're clearly, clearly a man with a taste for adventure and excitement. What could be more exciting than buried treasure? First thing we'll need to do is locate the journal of the Shrine Maiden, said to have been buried in the treasure. I have been led to believe that it still remains somewhere here in Hoto. I hereby entrust you with the task of finding it and use it to track down the treasure. Bring me the bloodstone, the rest you can keep. And there we go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... Do we even have any money in the bank? Oh, five, five thousand, damn. We have nothing. That's fine. Let's rest for uh, 48 gold coins. We could have gone out to the... We could have gone out to the uh, campfire, but yeah, this is fast enough. And let's go talk to Mr. Sir here. And he'll have a Sword of Kings for sale for us. This is the real thing with this. I, uh, first I shall make it, then I shall sell it right here. Did you just like sell it in the shop? I think you might. No, what, what'd you do with it? We're supposed to just be able to buy it just by resting. Maybe, maybe we have to like zoom out or something. Uh, I, I thought we, I thought we just had to like rest at the end. If this doesn't work, we'll zoom out to the Hoto campsite, rest up over there, and come back and do that. Uh, it should be available. Um, why won't you sell it to me? You need to sell this to me. I need it. You need it to craft, um, not necessarily the Sword of Light, but you need it to cra craft the... The better, the better tier sort of like pretty much. So what's going to happen is we're going to craft the another sort of light over at the volcano top like we did back in Act 2. And then we're going to be able to use that in the sort of kings that we buy here as ingredients in the fun size forge to make the super duper sort of light. Which I think we already have the recipe for. Reasonably sure we do. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about these. We have uh, these we can make um, for Jade. Yeah, gives a pretty good chunk of charm. A little bit of crit, and then more crit, more charm. Yeah, let's go ahead and make these real fast because I completely forgot about them. Ah, I forgot to do this. Then again, we were like an hour at the end of the last episode, so that probably helped. Alright, uh, let's go for some sizzlies here. And let's do a quadra. Inspiration, fantastic. Uh, let's go for a... See, I'm going to do a double do right there. Perfect, okay. Beautiful. Master Stroke, and Mr. Uh, let's see, where is it? Double Edge Bash, right there. Fantastic. I think this is another one that kind of looks like a dress, uh, like a battle dress type thing, when we get it all made up and stuff. So it should be quite nicer. I don't think it's her ultimate outfit. I, I've at least not that I remember.
You're gonna have more than four squares, though, so you're gonna be slightly more of a pain in the ass. No, you're not. Okay. I thought you were gonna be, uh, Mr. Four Square again. Guess not. Okay, that works. Uh, let's see, triple. Fantastic. That worked out fantastic right there. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, now let me see, is Crosscutter Blow... Ooh, that's actually perfect. That's like one of the very few times that Crosscutter Blow would actually be useful right there. Or we could just, uh, you know, get that crit right there. So that works too, I guess. Fantastic. Yeah, it was only four stars, so not too hard to make. Not too hard to make in the slightest. Got that red, purple, and uh, black color scheme there. Fantastic. But yeah, I think we actually do have the recipe for the uh, Super Sword of Light. And if not, uh, we should be able to get it reasonably quickly. Yeah, Supreme Sword of Light right there. So, this will be the... This will be tied for the strongest uh, one-handed sword in the game. Um, the final form of this sword right here, the... Uh, I forget what it's called. Um, whatever the final four of the Supernova Star of here, uh, Supernova s Sword s thing here is going to be called. Uh, this will have the same attack power, but it will have uh, the enemy reduction chance, and then also it'll have less charm, I think. Um, I think the Supreme Sword of Light, yeah, will have 100, and then this one will end up being like 56 charm or something like that. So, still a pretty fair amount, but it'll be less than the Supreme Sword of Light, sadly. But the attack power will be the same, so that'll be nice. All right, uh, let's see. So we rest it up. The dude should be willing to sell me my Sword of Kings now. And then hopefully we can grab the diary from Miko's area. And go from there. Do you have yay old sword? The blade has been forged. Splendor paint, paint, splendor plane for all to see. My life's work complete. It's now on sale. A tour de force. A wonder. A price tag to match. All right. And I think they will sell it in here again. I think. Yeah, sword of kings right there. Thirty-five thousand. Extremely effective evil banishing blade that can be used to battle the, in battle to unleash biting winds into opponents. Nice. And then no special properties. Not superbly powerful, but, you know, we do need it. Uh, I guess I guess it will do... Um, it might do, like, the Swishel or something. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think I've ever actually tried using it in battle. So, you know what? Just for shits and giggles. Uh, let's see. Sword Kings. Let's uh, transfer to... Give it to you. There we go. And let's see what it actually does in battle. If it, if it actually does cast a swishel, that's pretty cool. But for the most part, we're going to be using it to make the Supreme Sword of Light uh, rather quickly. So it's not going to be hanging out, our, hanging out in our inventory for too long. I can tell you that much. All right. Uh, is this it right here? Ancient diaries seems to have been written by high priests of old. Hoto's fortune grew. Great piles of shining treasure, tall as Mount Huji. Our stores overflowed. The glimmer lit the night sky. The surplus was moved. Great treasure, bloodstone. Looked down upon the peak's fire. Reached by the black path. Or the back path, I guess. So I think we should just be able to go towards the, um... Towards the uh, forge and go from there. Uh, let's see... We have the ultimate key. Oh, yeah, we still have the hideout key from, um... I, th I think that was from... Act 2, I think. Yeah, I think that was the one we got here in Act 2. So, yeah, we should be able to go grab all this stuff and uh, be good to go. Also, uh, we should have... Yeah, the Lumen Essence right here. And we need this for uh, this part of the quest. We got that... I think we got that in one of the uh, trials, I do believe.
Let's see, I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't just, like, dash. We can't just, like, warp over to uh, Mount Huji, but luckily it's, like, two feet away, and I want to try out my Sword of Kings anyways. Dooper dooper. Uh, you have the fantastic uh, Deviler Drinker if we are in need of money, which I think I'm mostly good on money right now, but Let's go. if you do need money, well, you can steal it from this guy. Uh, let's see, items, Sword of Kings. How do you like this? Yeah, so let's see, that's either a Cuss Wishel or a Cuss Wish or some form of a uh, Swish variety. And there we go. We got a shield to sell for lots and lots of money. Fantastic. Get crit. Uh, you. Well, it's not the swoosh, I can tell you that much. That one. That was a different ability there. But either way, yeah. It's a shame you can't buy like a secondary copy of it. Like, I don't think you. I don't think you can give him a another piece of ore calcum and buy another one to have after you make the Supreme Sword of Light. If you can, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think you can. I really like the way this this particular version of the Ghost Horse looks. The blue and the purple. It's a nice color combination. I like it. That guy also looks pretty cool. And I don't think we have any... Yeah, all the monsters are taken care of, including, uh... I'm kind of surprised there wasn't, like, a, a malicious bear around here or something like that. You know, a much more dangerous bear to fight. That would have been fun. Alright, so this is where they were hiding out way back in the day. And... I don't recall if we have to watch the little cutscene over here, but let's just try it out anyways. We're not going to have to refight um, the dragon again, so don't worry about that. ignoring you. And you ran away anyways. Good job. Hello. What do we got here? We got the... A chest of Hoto stuff. There we go. That should be the uh, the quest item for uh, the quest right there. I think. You found the hidden horde of Hoto. Head back to Yago at the inn and tell him the good news. But I think we actually do have to get down to where the boss fight with uh, Tatsunaga was. So we want to go do that real fast. Yeah, because the, the quest with uh, Miku and her son turned into the dragon, like in Act 2, it's not actually part of the side quest that we were assigned over there in uh, Hoto. It's actually just its own little secondary section that you could probably do without even ever actually uh, touching the, the side quest itself. I don't recall if we get anything terribly good out of it, but we might as well get it done out of it. I th uh, I'm trying to remember. It might get us access to, like, the, um... I'm trying to remember if we need to do it to get access to the, the forge in order to forge the uh, Sword of Light. But I don't think we do. Caldera. Yes, yeah, so I think I think over here is where we fought is where we forged the, uh, the Sword of Light, right? So we should be able to just do this right away, I think. Oh no, we okay. I think we actually do have to go do it then. Yeah, I think we'll get the uh, I think we'll get that key from Miku and her son. So let's go do that. And we got to walk all the way to the end of the dungeon, but it shouldn't take too long to get there, so we should be a okay. We might have to grab somebody to break those, but honestly, I think 
You might not have to unless you want the, uh, the treasures, which we don't care about. So, I'm not really terribly concerned. Yeah, we don't got like a battle or anything. So, we just have to get where we need to go and we are set. Yeah, I think we actually do need somebody to get... No, that's just a treasure chest. Uh, let's see. We should probably grab that guy just to have him, just to make sure that if we do need it, it's available. Also, it'll protect us from minor amounts of damage from the lava when we're walking around. You're supposed to get the insta kill there. Now he decided not to. But oh well. Got that crushed ice. Kind of surprised I didn't actually kill you. I thought that would have, uh. I thought that would have destroyed you. Actually, no, let's do a quadra slash. That'll work out pretty well. By the way, if you ever hear that little, like, lumpy noise every once in a while, that's just my heavy-ass water bottle being set down. There you go. Get rid of you. And then we just gotta remember how to get to the boss, and we're pretty much good to go. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think we actually did need... No, you're not anything we need. Um, oh, this way. No, looks like we might have needed it to get through here. Fair enough. Fellas, you're killing me here. Uh, let's trade out you for you. Why and let's get back to these idiots to death. I'm not going to waste too much time on them. I'm kind of curious why sometimes their multi-target spells don't hit the entire party. Like, how do they decide when it's going to be Freeze! a group for the party member here? The party members here, I'm not sure. But, yeah, whatever. It works. Alright, yeah, I don't think we need you anymore to get past the rocks or anything. So there we go. There's Miku and Tatsunaga. Unexpected guests arrive like snow in July. Will you hear my tale? Believe it or not, this great dragon is my son, victim of a curse. But hope is not dead. I have a special mirror, one that shows the truth. Yeah, we need more still. A drop of lumen essence to light up the glass. Bring that drop to me. Heal the pain that rends my heart. Save my only son. Wait, can this be true? Can that be lumen essence? Is salvation near? Hope is rekindled. The mirror can be made clear. My son can be saved. Will you hear my plea? Will you bring light back to us as sun pierces clouds? If you stop speaking in haikus, yes. Words will not suffice. You have given us a chance to light in the darkness. Blah blah blah. I said no more haikus, please. He, she ignored me completely. Look, the mirror glows. At last, its power wakens. Now to see the truth. Mirror, with your light, rid us of the dragon's curse. Let my son be free!
mother. The drought breaks. Rain falls. Tears of joy well in my eyes. Pain washes away. How long I waited. The nights were never ending. I pined like the wolf. Mother, I am here. The time of sorrow over. The dragon no more. Kid, you've been locked in a dragon form for like a while, and you're still speaking haikus. <laughs> eh, you kill me. Huh? Who? They are our saviors, restorers of the mirror. Heralds of the truth. My joy knows no bounds. United with my mother, dawn breaks on hearts' hills. We owe you a debt. We await you in the shrine. Let us give thanks there. And I believe by the shrine they mean back in uh, Hoto. I don't think they mean the one over by where I want to go. So we'll still have to... Yeah, I think we'll still have to walk back over there. Yeah. Oh well. I can... Actually, let's go turn this into this guy. Get those uber agates. Uh, let's see, how many do we actually have right now? Uh, let's see... Six, and he'll give us three. I think we need like 15 or so total. Oh, there you are, my partner in treasure hunting. How did it go? Do you manage to track down the hidden horde of Hoto? Yep. You found it. Finally, the epic endeavor my great grandfather began all those years ago is at an end. There are no words to express my gratitude. As you know, I'm a, from a long and illustrious line of treasure hunters. I still remember my great grandfather on his deathbed looking me in the eye and telling me to continue his lifelong search for the bloodstone. And now it is finally at an end. Could I have done it without you? Perhaps not, my friend. Perhaps not. Truly, there are no words. What there is, though, is lost is a lovely treasure. I shall take the bloodstone, but the rest is all yours. There you go. Fantastic. He was absolutely ecstatic to get his hands on the jewel the generations of his family had longed to find. Fantastic. Without you, I never have gotten my hands on the bloodstone. Truly, you are my brother in arms, my greatest treasure hunting companion. But a truth, I have a real brother also, a brother by blood, but he has no interest in treasure hunting. He seeks something else. He is a hunter of stunning scenery by the name of Hugo. He's always on the lookout for grand vistas and breathtaking views. If, you'd have, if you should ever run into him, be sure to say hello. The last time I saw him, he said he was heading for some mountaintop shrine. We already met that guy, so we are uh, not worried about him anymore. Can I give you another orc outcome to make another sword? That'd be cool. Oh, I guess you can. I guess you can make another sword if you wanted to. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, I'm not going to, but it's nice that you have the option. I didn't think. I didn't think you could. I guess if you really want to have like one of every weapon in your inventory, you could do that. I guess, but uh, I'm not terribly worried about it. I owe my. I owe you my life. Without you, I was condemned. My human form lost. Fear still grips me. The craving for. You. Craving for human flesh, it sickens me so. The less of my woes, I must show my gratitude. Sincere as cold steel. Ooh, we got a thousand fold katana, which isn't all that great. Legendary blade, lightning fast and razor sharp. Serve these heroes well. Destiny awaits. Go forth and meet your your fate, friend. Conquer the darkness. Our savior appears, the light gifted to the world, the luminary. There could be no doubt. I saw the fire in your eyes, pure as seven's flame. I know who you are, the one to banish darkness as dawn does the night. Now you come to us to seek Mount Huji's power, the world's sacred hurt. Take my offering, the key to the place you seek, the volcano's heart. And we got the crucible key. Nice. There was a poem, one told to us as children. Let me now recall. The lake of love and the holy flame cast within, crucible reborn, the mountain's secrets, even I do not know all. What wonders sleep there? Go, Luminary. Go to the volcano's heart. Seek the crucible. Alright, so we got started on uh, Cobblestone's restoration. We took care of Pretty much everything in hotel that we need for the moment. And next episode, we'll actually go and do the uh, the sort of light stuff, just uh, not take another 15 
minutes or however long it's going to take here. But either way, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll just meet you guys over at the, uh, the door to the uh, Crucible next time. See you guys later. Have a good one.